Welcome to the Arkimoto Stakeholder Weekend Update. I'm joined by Arkimoto fellow Jess Jessup, my trainer, getting ready for a big run coming up. So I got a multitask hardcore. We're gonna go over to R&D, look at the latest updates to our 1.x prototype, then head down to Tilting Motor Works, look at the trio. One other thing to remember, if you wanna stay up to date with everything, just make sure you're subscribed to our channel and uh, signed up for our newsletter for stakeholders at arcmoto.com slash IR. Here we are, Arcimoto R&D. Hey guys, what's going on? We've actually proposed the concept that we're working on for our 1.x platform. Hey, tell me a little bit about what, what, are the, what are the changes that happened? The main context that we're trying to do is really look at where we're going with uh, usability and drivability and improving some of the characteristics that we've heard as feedback from the customers. From the engineering's perspective, specifically, uh, one of the biggest changes you're going to see is we move the shock outboard. So that's going to free up a lot more space um, under the lower frame of the vehicle for additional electronics packaging um, and HVAC for you know any future improvements we roll into the 1.x platform. We also lengthened and narrowed up these control arms. So that's allowing us additional tow room. Another big change we made was we replaced the existing steering linkage with a single pitman arm and two tie rod setup, which simplifies manufacturing and uh, is also gonna help take costs out of the vehicle. So simplification, reduction of cost, light weighting, and improvement of performance. All right, so Dwayne, talk a little bit. So you came on board recently as our chief product officer and your real focus now is, is what? Key on this platform here in particular is to get our product dialed in for multiple use cases, right? Expand the base of where we're at today and take us into some new markets into the future. So we have already gotten some really good feedback from our existing customer base. We're getting good feedback from future customers and now we're trying to roll all that into the products. Right on, Yeah. right on. Well, our, our initial focus for platform uh, 1.x for next year uh, is the commercial market. Correct. Can you talk a little bit about your experience in commercial yeah. delivery vehicles? Absolutely. So uh, most recently I came from a company that was working in the four wheel space, light duty trucks, really low, low speed, speed and cargo logistics services. That was the principal focus for what they did. And uh, there's a huge opportunity for products like ours to be able to fill in that gap and actually do more than some of those vehicles. They're restricted to road speeds of 35 miles an hour or less. They're restricted to private campuses. The Arkimoto platform can go anywhere. And that opens up a lot of opportunity for people who are trying to move goods, packages, groceries, all kinds of things. So that's one of the things that's exciting to me about this product platform. You guys want to take this thing out for a spin? Absolutely. We're going to head down to Tilting Motor Works and check out the trio. Oh, cool. Absolutely. Oh, hey, look at that. Bob Mile. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. We were actually just coming down to visit you. Let's go take a ride down there. All right, lead the way. All right, here we are. Tilting Motor Works. Hey, Bob. Come kind on. of teleported over. You. Yeah, good to see you. All right, what have we here? Well, we're welcome to Tilting Motor Works. We got a few bikes to show you here. These look like the early prototypes. This is actually prototype number one, built on a little Honda 250 Rebel. And what about this number 42? Tell me more about this one. This was prototype number two. This was built up on a Yamaha VMAX that was then taken down to the Bonneville Salt Flats where we hooked the nitro system up to this bike and set the land speed record for three-wheel motorcycles. Very nice. Once we proved out the two-wheel tilting front-end technology, we went into production building trio front-end kits for Harley-Davidson's, Indian motorcycles, and Honda Goldwings. So, so basically, this is a bolt-on kit for an existing motorcycle that turns it into a kick-ass tilting trike. What other cool stuff does it do? Well, fully leans into the corners, you got full lean capability. So you're dragging your floorboards. It has a hydraulic lock system that'll actually pick the bike up all the way on its side until it locks up and level again. So no longer have to put your feet down when you come to a stop. You got another wheel up front, a lot better braking, a lot better traction. You go around the corners like a bandit on this. So if you're backing up in a parking lot, if you're moving at low speed, it's you got the tilt lock and then 
you start moving and it- As soon as you hit that throttle, that lock releases, handles like a regular bike. We took the technology to the next level and we've grabbed it onto our Mean Lean machine here. It has a two wheel tilting front end, pedal assist, electric bike, full lean capabilities, pedal by wire system, no chain drive, no belt drive. I love Just it. Just ride it and have fun. It's a beautiful collaboration, sir. All right. Hey. Thanks, Martin. Tell, tell me a little bit though. I see boxes there. Those right. are all crated up kits ready for customers' bikes. Bob, thanks for your time. I'm famished. You guys want to go get some grub? Let's roll. All right, let's head out. Here we go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Eric hey. Stoffel. Hey, going, Mark? Good hey. to see you, man. What a surprise. Like what do you know? Yeah. How's it going? You, you've, been, you've been cranking on torque vectoring now. Absolutely. That was a lot of what we talked about earlier was 1.x and improving uh, some of the feel and handling through hardware, but what you're bringing is improving the feel for, through software for everyone who's already got a FUV and all the FUVs are coming out for a while. Absolutely. And it's pretty incredible what the team's done. Honestly, uh, Ben, two, two Bens, uh, and uh, Andre and Harmander and Will, the guys all cranking on it, have been doing a phenomenal job. We reduced the overall steering force by a factor of 10 required to actually execute a turn. Uh, high traction, low traction conditions, it's, it's really something to behold. So I'm super excited about it. I'm really proud of the team. Very awesome. Awesome. Very awesome. Do you, uh, I heard you went to an ice rink. Is that true? We did. We did. We uh, went this. to uh, the training facility for the San Jose Sharks uh, down in the Bay Area. That's where we're based. Uh, the facilities manager there is fantastic. He uh, actually had the Zamboni clear half the ice rink, so it was perfectly smooth. The other half was torn up from practice, so we had two different traction conditions where we were able to slide back and forth to see how stable the system was between the two different traction conditions, and it handled beautifully. Found a few little bugs we figured out, solved them within an hour, and uh, got some more data, and it was amazing. Uh, are we still on track for a Q4 release for the Absolutely. general public? Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, check back with us next week. We're going to be doing a, a deep dive on Arkhamoto culture. Really appreciate your support. Really appreciate you tuning in. Take care. Have a great 4th of July.